Look, right, I'll just give you the twist straight away. I hate it because it's good. And I don't like these sorts of things usually. I like big AAA single player stuff. I play through all the Uncharted once a year. I like to be told a story. I've got a Steam library full of indie point and clicks. The only card battler I ever got invested in before this was Gwent. Not the standalone version that was crap, but the one that you play in The Witcher 3 against actual characters within the world, often as a lovely piece of punctuation to the main quest. It was a bonus minigame that was ingeniously tied to the people and places of that world, and therefore it had enough narrative substance for an idiot like me, who loves an inherently competitive medium for its storytelling, to get invested in it. This isn't going to a place where I start trying to make out that Marvel Snap has some kind of surprising narrative progression going on because it fucking doesn't. Don't get me wrong, there's progression. You grind to unlock new cards and to cosmetically enhance the ones in your collection. You can also unlock player avatars, alternative backs, variant artwork for your favourite cards. There's a lot of scope for self-expression, which is quite satisfying, and that's the key to Marvel Snap. It's just satisfying. Everything about it is designed to tickle the pleasure centres, to be just so. It is of course about getting bigger numbers onto the screen than your opponent can within the same amount of turns. Certain cards have abilities that can give you a numerical advantage in often surprising ways. Cards that add multipliers, cards that spawn other cards, cards that destroy just one of your opponents which can often mean the difference between a win and a loss. The board is split into three locations, you have to win a majority of them to claim victory. Each of these locations adds their own modifier which will interact with your deck in ways that could be good or bad depending on how you adapt your strategy. It's great, yes, but all of that can be said of other card games. What Marvel Snap does is streamline and simplify the whole thing to a point where even the sort of complete moron who plays all the Uncharted games every year despite knowing the outcome, seriously what exactly am I going to learn from my sixth playthrough of every single Uncharted game, can find themselves feeling very good about the success they're having in a genre of game that often seems quite intimidating and impenetrable from the outside. As well as that, the devs have spent a lot of time and money on making this thing just feel good to play on a fundamental neurological level, the pricks. Everything about it is just so slick, the audio design constantly sounds like things clicking and sliding nicely into place like a really crisp seatbelt. The animations are absolutely beautiful, each one of them lasting precisely long enough to register on your optic nerves and parse effectively as a little story without ever feeling overlong or affecting the pace. This is an extraordinary achievement to do this for every animation in the game, and all the animations feel so true to the characters as well, just like their abilities. Quicksilver always gets drawn in your first hand no matter what, Iron Man doesn't do any damage by himself, but the buff he gives the team is often pivotal to their success. Uncle Ben summons Spider-Man if he gets destroyed, that's pretty funny actually, and spotting all these touches which rely on your innate knowledge of the Marvel Universe as a person who exists in the 21st century just makes you feel good. It's like getting a little pat on the head from the game for being able to join the dots. And related to that point, although the game hides it quite well, you do find yourself playing against bots half the time which are obviously easier than human opponents and given the runaway success of the game, I wonder if this is deliberate. If the game is always ready to serve you up a win to keep that serotonin bubbling over just like every other aspect of the game is so expertly designed to do. I haven't even talked about the titular snap mechanic yet which adds a real poker element to the proceedings with real stakes. If you snap at the right moment you can often just appear so confident of a win despite having jack shit that your opponent will literally retreat rather than lose their rank progression which can be quite punishing if you have a run of bad luck or a bluff like that could blow up in your face and send you back a rank. It's tense, it really gets its claws into you, both the prospect of getting one over a stranger and the prospect of losing your precious cosmic cubes in the attempt. So it's got all the drama of a single player PlayStation exclusive, and it's just primary school maths with an art budget. And I can't believe they've made me feel so invested in something that's just primary school maths with an art budget, which leads to the existential question of Fuck, isn't that all video games? Is this what I've spent my entire life trying to find deeper meaning in for years as an enthusiastic child and then for years as a professional wanker? Does that make Marvel Snap one of the most pure expressions of the art form that I've ever encountered? And given the fact that it is a free to play card battler rammed with microtransactions attached to a lucrative but nonetheless after what feels like 5 billion years of diminishing returns from the MCU quite tired license? Isn't that a 
terrible state of affairs. Victory. It doesn't matter, it's fine, it's really good, don't worry about it. I've been Jim Trinker for VG247, and if you enjoyed that, firstly, what's wrong with you, but secondly, you should probably subscribe for more of it. Otherwise, I'm just sitting here pleasing myself for no good reason. I mean, I'd be doing that anyway. It's up to you. Thank you.